and also the Okay, boys and girls, we have arrived. This is where the um, you guys have a problem here about the power, right? Mushroom pepper. Oh, so this is their homemade wave maker here. How come the sand is black? Uh, yeah, this is the volcanic area because of the. Wow, it's um, this area or black sands? Yeah. Yeah, volcanic sands. Famous for from black the, sands. Yes. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, boys and girls, we have arrived here at. I lost track. I don't know how many coral farms we've checked out on this trip. It's uh, there's a lot of them, but this is. Just first initial impressions, I'm going to say one of the most impressive ones in terms of size, it is, it's big, and in terms of lighting, so something that I didn't really see at a lot of the other ones I visited, they don't actually light the beds, um, the more just holding tanks, these are all lit, like you can see there's, there's lights for days and glass tanks, many times just using um, concrete is very common, like a concrete thing that just holds salt water with a lot of flow. These, as you can see, mostly glass tanks with some fiberglass ones kind of tossed in between there. So in terms of size, this is definitely one of the bigger ones. And I can see some skimmers over there hiding in the back. I'm gonna make my way over there. You know that I always like to talk about the hardware, not just the corals. It's also very organized and very clean compared to some of the other ones. This looks like it's their pack out station. And the owner is gonna give us a little walkthrough. I hooked him up with a microphone and he's gonna give us a tour of the facility and show some stuff. I just wanna show you this really quickly because I haven't seen one yet here on this trip. A Griffin bandsaw. Everyone's cutting with um, more of a homemade sort of bandsaw operation they actually have a full c40 it's kind of cool to see so they know what they're doing when it comes to fragging uh before we go any further hello if you're new to the channel welcome what is this this is a television show that follows everything to do with saltwater aquarium keeping and in the last couple episodes we've been actually in indonesia visiting coral farms and hand selecting hand picking corals to bring them back so that our lovely canadian viewers and reefers can enjoy them see we need to acclimate the acros yeah and most most of the acros they are not appear as uh, good as in the blue light so yeah. we have to acclimate it especially for like cherry bomb during the uh, in the sea and the, in the tank it's different do you have any cherry bomb here that we yes. can see yes yes sure they um they we morph, have there they morph under the blue light yeah, you, they don't look as good coming out of the water right yeah. and yeah. So, it, certainly when you're looking at it in daylight it doesn't look like that yes correct and then uh, um, beside that, beside that, the color of the acros will looks will appear different color yeah, during the under the blue light. So yeah, yeah it, it's different. What are you yeah. using here for lighting? What are these? Uh, this is we we do DIY. DIY. Um, wow, the whole farm. Yeah, the whole farm we do DIY. How many lights is that? A million? Uh, we have eighty times. Uh, yeah, about one thousand. A thousand a, pictures. A, a thousand cluster. Wow. One cluster is 10 LEDs. Who's making them? You? Uh, we do the engineering here. Wow. Yep. That's pretty cool. A lot of the other farms that we went to, they're not even, there's no lights. Yeah. It's well, that's, that's the thing. The, the light makes the, 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 the coral better when you, when you receive that because it's already, um, it's already acclimated, right? Yeah, right. it's adjusted so to the blue adjusted light. To the blue adjusted light. to the blue yeah. light. Where, where, where the aquarium industry all use the blue light. So, yeah. yeah, very strong blue compared to days gone by. Right. Wow, amazing torch core. And it helps you to see what they are. Yeah, the, the one that they have yeah. these, yeah, I already have the I think order. it was all these things for picked order. Where are these going? Um, some, uh, mostly US. US, is yes. that your biggest clients in the US? Yes. The U.S. like torch coral, huh? Yes, indeed. For torch coral, they weren't so popular, I feel like, 10 years ago. Yeah. This black coral, black, black torch, also people doesn't, you know, uh, back then nobody wants it, but for some reason... Everybody wants it now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But it's black, but I, I don't get it's it. Not, <laughs> not black. Yeah, I don't know. It's not really black, though. It's really yeah, it's have a, dark, like, dark purple. Dark, dark purple, yeah. What do you, they, but they call it black, and yes. now, now it's exotic. This yeah. is the uh, Blastomusa Maxima, I think. Uh, it's a different yeah, name sure. for this one. Maxima. Yeah. Maxima? Maxima, yeah? Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. a Welsi, Merletti. I think there's one or two more, but these yeah. ones, we don't see these too often, at least back yeah, in Canada. Nice. Yeah, Beautiful they're like color too. really fat Blastos, like yeah. big single polyps. So then you have them organized by... This, this is an order. Oh yeah, that's this, yeah, this is the order. These are orders going out. 
So you got the numbers there. along here. Yeah. The other ones? And then if it's got a number next to it, it's a picked order. Yeah. And then the other ones, they're grouped by the type of coral, probably the ship yeah. too, I would oh, assume. Oh, I want to yeah. talk to you about the skimmer you're using on the end. Yeah, this is the uh, SP9000, the Reef Octopus. That's the big skimmer. Yes. Yeah, bubble Blaster, bubble right? Blaster. I think ah. this is the best pump. Okay. Look at this, Kelk Wasser. Yes. Are you using that throughout the, the farm? Yes. Okay. We do. We Is do the pH. Yeah. Um, we have uh, lowest eight point one and then the highest eight point uh, almost eight point four. Eight point nice. one yeah. to eight point four. Do you do, yeah. the, do you do the potassium hydroxide like Chris too? Yeah, I I try, but um, uh, and now I stop. Yeah. 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 But Is it too dangerous. Um, but I really want to try again. Yeah. But I really have to wait for our um, uh, system for controlling that so not overshooting the yeah, yeah. Go too high exactly yeah. where is yeah. this going and it's just drain. rubber the drain yes yeah just going into the back to the ocean yeah it's a big skimmer yeah these, yeah. Are, the, these are the bubble blaster bubble pump. blaster yeah i i was wrong i thought it was dc pump yeah i, I like those better okay I, I okay personally all right all in it with those those, yeah. those two so can i open it yes you're what are you trying to keep the alkalinity at um we do 10. 10. Yeah, oh, nine. Quite high. Some some are uh, eight, some are ten. What's the alkalinity of the water in the ocean? Um, about seven. About yeah. seven. Yeah. Okay. We have to but we raise a little trying bit. Trying to adjust it so it's more tank acclimated for when people get it. Yeah. Here? Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. How old is this facility? Um, two and a half years. So we still like building things and. Never, Still, uh, never ending. Never ending, same, right? Same for us. Oh, magic door. Let's see what the, it's behind door number one. Oh, yeah. Narnia. Oh. The ocean. Yeah. That is so cool. Guys, check this out. Literally. Uh, now the water is not quite good. So are you pulling? Because uh, yesterday, no very big rain. Oh, very okay. big rain and uh, very heavy rain. Are you pulling so, water out of the ocean into here? Yes. Is that that pipe on the floor? Um, this one, uh, we actually uh, fixing this. So it's not. <laughs> Hello, my friend. How come the sand is black? Uh, yeah, this is a volcanic on. area because of the. Wow, it's beautiful. Um, this area or black sands? Yeah. Yeah, volcanic sands. Famous for From black the, sands. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Mm. So soft. Yeah. And then where are you collecting the girls from? How far out? Um, no, we, we don't collect from here. We. We only do, we try to do mariculture here, but it's not very good here. How come? Um, because of the, um, the, the, the small uh, s snail. Do you know the, uh, the, um, the animal that usually grows uh, uh, underneath the, the boat? That you have to clean oh, up? Tourniquets. Yeah. Tourniquets, yeah, tourniquets. So wow. we have those, lots of tourniquets here. So because of yes, that, you correct. can't grow. Sorry? Yeah. Because of those, you, it's not good to grow here. Yeah, it's uh, too many tourniquets. So it, when uh, when we see the acro, it looks like healthy, big, but inside yeah. they have tunicates and tunicates and whole is and died. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I would have never thought that. Yeah. It's yeah, uh, like little barnacles inside. Yeah, and correct. You can see them. Right? Yes, correct. There must not be enough predators to eat those. Yeah. We it's try to like go this. deeper, but still um, we cannot help with the tunicates. It's a lot here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And also the um, mola mola. Mola, mola, we see the really? small mola mola here. Right here? Yes. Oh what is a mola mola? The sunfish. It, they're they're giant animals. Like they're huge. They're they're like big this way. Yeah. They they don't look real. Right. right. Uh, usually the fish will yeah. have a flipper here, but this one is like this. Yeah. <laughs> mola mola. Yeah. It's an alien looking fish. Never yeah. heard of this alien. It's crazy. Yeah. The algae scrubber. UV? Yeah, algae scrubber. Like so algae. So not oh, algae this scrubber. Is this uh, from the ocean. The rotating algae. What is the name of the algae? I forgot. Macroalgae. Yeah. Kaitomorpha. Kaitomorpha. Yeah, but um, doesn't really work well. Um, yeah. uh, we hard to find a spinning one. So. Oh, how many uh, gallons is this? This is uh, eight thousand liters wow. for each. Eight thousand liters. Yes. Yeah. That is a big water change. Big, big operation. And so you said that these corals came in what two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. Um, some uh, half of them are two weeks ago. Half of them are already here for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And there was you can only collect them when the weather's good. Yeah. Right. 
So uh, we don't really collect them. Um, we have a fisherman to collect them, and okay. we transport from the other place to here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's so a lot we of open we feed them. So that, that's why they looks like uh, so very fat. yeah. What do you uh, what do you feed fluffy. them? Huh? Um, we, we do like uh, very DIY um, uh, food, like like chopped fish and uh, shrimp. Homemade. Uh, we food. make your paste, yeah, and then we we feed the, the paste, yeah. The corals like to eat. Yeah, see, they are just. Uh, yeah, this is the excess of the um, the food. We just feed them. Oh, many. This side leathers, soft coral. Yep. This Oh yeah. What do we call these lace coral? Lots of diaceras and frail. Diaceric, yep. Look up these chalice. Look like Raja Rampage. Colonies. Everything's big. There are no frags here, no little pieces. Well there's some there's some diaceras, but that's the fragable fungia. Oh man, those are nice. I haven't seen those yet, actually. They're a little pale, some of them. There's some darker green ones here. There's a beautiful binary over here. Oh, look at the patterns on that one. Yeah, there's sakit satu. Langsung aja dipindahin. Dek, yang sakit tolong pindah. Very popular coral. It is for us. That's a coral in blue and yellow. These are all albiaporas. Actinia. Bubble coral. Oh. Cans. Look how nice and fat the heads are on this one. This is huge. Yeah. This we're gonna have lunch in a moment. Ooh. So this is the. For dripping, right? Yeah. This is where we, where, when we take the, when we receive the coral from maricult our mariculture sites, mm -hmm. we put here. We have a flow through the water yeah. uh, to wash the, um, um, uh, the, the water from the bags, and also we have to scrap them. We clean take all the algae. algae, the crab, and yeah. we take everything in, and then after we clean, we put it in the quarantine tank. Yeah. And then after the quarantine tank, uh, we for a while, then we go to the um, to our main tank. And then you also will, if you get, if you notice there's like a brown jelly, then you can treat for brown jelly. Right. Right. So use your, use your antibiotic. Yeah. This is the um, and the hospital like ah, antibiotic place. It's the antibiotic yeah. Antibiotic area. So what's yes. inside the water? Um, yeah, the antibiotic. Cherry bomb. It's, cherry it's so cold that with the chill around that it's causing the water oh, to sweat. Oh, cold water. That's something. So, I was so really you said surprised. the temperature would can be as low as 68. Yes. And as high as 78. Yes. So it's like you can see this. Much screen. colder than people Colour, yeah. keep their aquariums at. Yeah. Much colder. Yep. Yeah, the acros like it cool. Places where the um, um, the the acro will change color during the uh, under the blue light, right? Yeah. So. Um, this already acclimate, but uh, we do acclimate only for the s a smaller one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not for the Some colonies. Dollars. Not for the colonies, yeah. Oh, it's a Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at the size of this. Oh, this is what we call fire nice. It's a rainbow tenuis. Yeah, rainbow beautiful pink. Yeah. Ship like 500 pieces every week of frags. Wow. Yep. I haven't seen any other suppliers here selling frags. Usually it's just the full quality. Yeah. You can get them fragged already made. All the work is done for you. Because when you're on YouTube, yeah. I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised that people here in Indonesia watch Fragbox TV. Yeah. Yeah. You quite famous. Um, wow. You hear that? Enjoy your, your channel. I, like, I appreciate your, that. Uh, yeah. It's very. Um, how to say? Like entertaining. It's stupid. Entertaining. Go, go block. <laughs> Asu, <laughs> we we, uh, we are accompanying you on, when you open the box during the during the middle of the day, uh, middle of the night, by yourself. Yeah, I'm here by myself opening the box. Yeah. Talking, talking, <laughs> makes That's me. Good. Good. Really. I I like it. I, I'm glad that you guys yeah. enjoy it. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of our stupid videos. We're the only ones that are doing it. <laughs> but, uh, I didn't say stupid, but it's, it's uh, something different and it's uh, really good. Different, yeah. yeah. That makes you uh, very well known, and, by the way. Uh, that's awesome, man. I really like to hear that. That's that's so cool. <laughs> I could have never imagined that people halfway across the world were watching our videos. So that's pretty neat. So this is like where he's hiding. 
the nicest of the nicest Ghani. Beautiful Ghanipora, and you can see here, not for sale. Oh, my uh, personal collection? Yeah. Wow. Can you turn off the flow on this yeah. one? Thank you. Same Makasi. Yeah. Picking up Indonesian while I'm here. Next time I come back, I'm going to be fluent. Check out these. Oh, man. These chalas are out of this world. Incredible colors. Super healthy. Look at this one. Wow. Some beautiful bounce mushrooms. Some yumas that I've never seen before. Some really nice yuma. Even this chalice, it's not yeah. like, it's just different. This different. Yeah. But I like this one, it's unique, you know? Yeah, very unique. It's not like the most colorful, yeah. but unique. Wait, did you just say unique? Unique. Yeah. That's my word. You, you see? Word, yeah. Even in Indonesia, they use unique. You guys are always giving me shit. At least and the staff one, is. That's uh, unique. This one uh, is definitely from Indonesia. Cherries. Oh, wow. So I just correct uh, from mother side. So I see like a... Uh, this cherries have a red and black, so I just try to crack it. That's crazy. And have a good color mold. Do you give it a name? Do you guys name the corals here, or is that just an American thing? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I give name, but sometimes just just a cherry. <laughs> it's just a cherry. It's a nice one though. Just a cherry. Siapa namu kapu? What is your name? His name is Hilmi. <laughs> We're gonna call this Hilmi Chalice. Hilmi Chalice. Hilmi Chalice. <laughs> If you guys are looking for it, you just order by request. I want the Hilmi special. <laughs> what are you doing with these pieces over here? Cleaning? Uh, this is an internship program from Makassar. Hello, so, how are you? She studied she study in Makassar. Just just come here like a... No, I'm oh, sorry, I'm trying to see the challenge. Oh, okay. I mean the coral. So you're giving, you're cleaning it? Yeah. With a toothbrush? Yes. We do the same. That's the best, <laughs> the best method. Global, global method of cleaning corals? Toothbrush. Wow, these are beautiful Aiken and Chinas. That one is out of this world. So these ones you're trying, I guess, to also to grow. Grow yeah. them all out? These, right. Mm. Oh, I see some Blastomusas. Let's go see these. Sorry. Blastomusa. Beautiful. You guys have a problem here in Bali with power, right? With what? The, the voltage. Oh, yeah. Like sometimes it's too much or yeah. and then it'll drop and... Yeah. Yeah, we don't we don't have a I don't think we have that sort of issue. It's not good for the equipment. For pumps, skimmers. Uh, only in the system. So like the chiller. Oh wow. Then skimmer, everything just connect here. There's a lot going on yeah. in there. A lot of wires. <laughs> These are stunning. I'm a sucker for Zoas, but anytime you find blue in any coral, truly, like the blue is a very rare color to find. And then in a Zoa like this, blue with red, it's a really cool piece. This is something I haven't seen yet on this trip, like Rhodactis mixed pieces. Oh my god, what is that mushroom? Right there. That is incredible. If there's one I was going to take with me today, it would be that one. That little mushroom there in the middle. That's really nice. These are so cool. This is getting more and more common with Zoas, with Albiaporas, Ghaniporas. Torches, hammers, like this. It's always these mixed rocks, um, full of them, but I haven't seen it yet, done yet with um, with these, with Rhodactus, so that's really cool to see. Man, I cannot get over that mushroom. That thing is wild. Until they're because ready. the condition is uh, still new. They just made them. Yeah. There's another one, actually, even bigger. <laughs> Incredible. This one in the middle. It's beautiful. This is something we never used to see back in the day. You would just, you would get one large piece of coral, like one, one. You would never see um, different colors like that mixed together. That's a very much new thing. I would say after the Indo Ben, what are you looking for? Make sure they're okay. Yeah. You talk to them. Make sure they're happy. Beautiful little bounce mushrooms. <laughs> this is this is the guy making them. Yeah. You're the artist. You do you do a very good job, man. Cold stool for days. Oh my goodness. Mushroom heaven. It's every color you can imagine. So many. It's so much fun to pick through them. Like 
come here with different eyes, right? The ones I am going to pick and the ones they're going to pick are, are very different. Like I'm, I would take something like that. Um, I kind of know what is a little bit more popular in our markets back in Canada, but it's, it's too much fun to, to come and pick them. Yeah, yeah, they're hard to keep. Even with the market. They're hard to keep. Yeah. So, try a nickel. Very unique Numa there. Same with these, actually, but this one is. This one is really cool. It looks like he's ready to bounce, almost like a beanbag Numa. Oh, so this is their homemade wave maker here. Look how cool this is. So it'll fill up. Yeah. And then it'll start a siphon. It'll just like a, a tub if you were to pull out the plunger and then it'll flush the tank very quickly with all of that water and it creates a it's like a natural wave maker by utilizing a siphon. That's really cool. I've never seen that before. Very smart. All wild. So taken right off the reef. Looks like mostly centilia. Big open brains. Thing we do not see a lot of in Canada, and I gotta try and get some from here. This is the fox coral, and we used to, but it's just not as common anymore. We, uh, I still see it when I come down to the States, a different reef of Palooza's. It's kind of like, sort of like an elegance, but not really, kind of like an elegance and a cabbage. It's a pretty neat coral, and so is this. Oh man, check out this one yellow and blue. Like I always say, the camera does not do these corals justice ever. He's going to show us some anemones. He says he has some nice, these are all nems, nems, nems. So many bubble tips, carpets. Fire anemone. What are we looking for? Oh, wow. That's cool. So is this. What is this, long tentacle? Yes. Beautiful piece. Red long tentacle. This is quite rare. Some funky bubble tips, you guys want to call them Chicago, whatever, sun, house burning down, call 911, something, it, funky names, but this is where they're all coming from. Beautiful. Some nice yellow ones. Yeah, we don't see a lot of these fire nymphs. I think I had one once for sale in the store. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Look at this one, it's actually white. White and pink. Sort of bubble tip. It's really pretty unusual. Talking about torch corals here on how the more expensive ones um, actually die a lot easier. Why is that? Why does a more expensive one die during shipping? I'm not sure. Nobody know. I think they know they're expensive. They, they they have a mind, and they say, "Sorry, buddy, you're not." You're not gonna enjoy it. the green ones. No problem, right? Yes, correct. Green ones, no problem. See, guys, no problem. I always talk about yeah. in the un unboxing videos. I get nervous to order Holy Grail, Tiger Torch, New York Knicks, whatever you want to call them. All the funny names. The nicer the torch is, the harder they ship. Right. Yeah. Correct. I'm glad to know I'm not crazy, and I'm hearing it from the source <laughs> that it's <laughs> it's actually it's actually a thing. Yes. yes. I agree. <laughs> and you know what? That's maybe part of the reason why they're so expensive. You're taking a risk. I got to bring in five to get one and a half to survive. So that kind of works into the price. <laughs> and then, <laughs> that's the way it is. Okay, Reefing Fam, this has been a lot of fun. I think we're going to wrap up today's video. Patrick is over there, still looking, picking some stuff out. I want to just say thank you to our friends for showing us around. Thank you very much. Makasi. Sama sama. And that's it. I'm going to go back and leave you with my favorite mushroom coral that I saw today because this one stupid little blue discosoma I just can't get over. You know, there's a lot, a lot of nice pieces here. But this one, as you know, is unique. You see? I'm not the only one who uses that word. Even, I, th I don't know how far we are. 4,000 miles away from home. This blue one right here. This is the one I'm going to leave you with. And the one that I'm going to say goodbye and have a nice morning or afternoon or maybe evening. Wherever you're watching from, never stop briefing. And goodbye for now.